Um, okay, so on today's um, session, we're going to be covering the, the introductory to order flow, what is order flow, and how it works. Okay? Okay. So, can you understand uh, everything I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Okay. So, um, on the first topic, we will be dealing with um, what is order flow, and then I'll be covering the how it works part after this and then basically the it's gonna be the introductory course for today nothing much so, okay yes so what is order flow okay uh, okay um you will be sending me these screenshot these videos after class right yes i'm currently recording so i'll email it to you okay. once we're done Okay, no problem. Okay. So what is order flow? Okay. Um, order flow is a trading strategy used So, uh, what is order flow? Okay, let me just use a different color here. So, order flow is a trading strategy used by the top one percent of successful traders, such as Wall Street banks and institutions. Okay. Okay. So, this strategy, uh, this strategy. So this strategy um, involves using unfilled buy and sell orders to predict major market trends, okay? So basically, right. we use this method. Uh, please give me a minute in my phone. No problem. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so order flow is a trading strategy uh, that involves using unfilled buy and sell orders to predict to predict major market trends. Okay, so basically we use this strategy to predict uh, market trends, um, reversal and continuations before they happen. Okay, right. So you go go ahead and take your call, or no? No, it's not a phone call. It's fine. Okay, no problem. So. <clears throat> The the top one uh, the top one percent of successful forex traders are the big banks and institutions who always trade at the key price levels. Okay, which offers them right. yes, which offers offers them um, low low risk high probability trading entries into the forex market. So, ninety nine percent of forex trading uh, academies and mentors focus on the retail mentality of trading forex which involves um, the over-reliance on uh, indicators and chart patterns, which only increases your risk and decreases your profit margins. So this is because um, indicators can never accurately predict the start or the end of, of any trend because they lag price. Okay. okay. So the trading activities of Wall Street banks and institutions create uh, demand and supply imbalances on the price chart and um, astute traders can find these levels with the right trading knowledge. Right. 
Yes. Um, <laughs> did you understand everything, or do I do I need to type this out for you? I can type it down. Yeah, yeah, it will be um helpful if you can type it out. Two ninety nine percent. Something I wanted to ask you, bro. Um, yesterday you mentioned that there are no PDFs on institutional order flow, right? Right. So it is true because before I took the course, I did my research obviously, and I didn't really find anything. Why is that? Why is it so hidden and private? Um, I think the <laughs> the correct answer would be. I think if you can look at, um, for example, if you are new to trading, um, if you go on Google and you search um, different types of, let me just, that's, a, that's actually a good question. Different types of trading strategies. So you will, you see, you will come across, uh, let's see, for example. Uh, you come across price action. Uh, okay, let me just do this. You will come across uh, your famous price sections, chart patterns, indicators, and all of them. <clears throat> but, but what do they say? They say 95% of forex, tra forex traders lose money, right? But uh, yeah. what, what, what do those 95% um, traders use? They mostly use uh, your, your common um, chart patterns and indicators and all of that stuff, right? Right. So the first thing you do when you um, start with your Forex trading journey, you will go into Google and when you type uh, these different types of strategies, those are the strategies you, the strategies you will come across. Uh, why is that? It's because 95% of traders use those strategies and they are not really successful. So why would you want to strategies that you find on Google, okay? I think that's the no. best. Um, sorry, sorry for cutting your course, but what, um, what I wanted to ask is one thing you would find a lot on the internet as well, and even on YouTube, is um, supply and demand zones, right? Correct. So what I wanted to find out, right? I don't know if you would cover it later on in the course, but I just put my question out there. Is institutional order flow and supply and demand the same thing? Um, not really. They are not the same thing. Okay. You will see when we do the professional side of um the course, you will see that it's actually we have a different appro approach um as compared to supply and demand. Okay, no problem. Okay. So I have a lot of questions coming down into the class. So I would ask when is necessary. Okay, no problem. 
So 99% of Forex trading academies and mentors focus on the retail mentality of trading Forex, okay? Which involves the over-reliance on indicators and chart patterns, which only increase your risk and decrease your profit margin. Okay. Understood. So, uh, let me type this out. So this is because indicators can never accurately predict at or end of any trend because of the size. Have you ever used yeah, yeah. indicators before? Yeah, yeah. I've used a lot of indicators at the beginning of my trading. I'm sure you've noticed that they actually lack price. Uh, they will say to yeah, yeah, I noticed. buy and then when the, uh, when the price continues to go down, you will keep see, seeing arrows saying buying the shading and all that. So this is, yeah. this is because they, they lack price. Okay? They show you what's already happened on the price chart. So they can never accurately predict the start or uh, or end of any trend because they like price okay okay so another thing let me type it. So, um, trading activities of Wall Street banks and institutions create uh, demand and supply imbalances on the price chart, and a trader can find these levels with the right trading knowledge. So, basically, what what happens is each time uh, banks and institu institutions um, place their trades, um, they uh, supply and demand imbalances on the price chart. Okay. Right. So. An astute trader can find these levels with the right trading knowledge. So this is what I'm gonna be focusing on on the professional side. You will, I will, uh, I think on the next session we'll be dealing with clean and unclean imbalances. So that's when you will understand what imbalances are. Okay. Okay, no problem. Okay. So let's move on to how order flow works. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
So how it works, okay? So basically, um, in any market, a buyer needs to be merged to a seller before any transaction can be completed, okay? So in Forex, tra right. in Forex trading, broker is responsible for making buy orders to sell orders before any transaction can be completed, right? right. So whenever there is a, a balance between buyers and sellers, there is a consolidation, okay, that is also known as service trading or equity, okay? Right. So this does not create a trading opportunity. So what creates a trading opportunity is a balance in the market, okay? So basically, if, uh, whenever there is a balance between buyers and sellers, it's a consolidation, okay? Which like something like this. I call it to trade sideways, okay? Also known as okay. yes. So this does not create any trading opportunity. You can uh, it's slightly breaking up, bro. Sorry? You're slightly breaking up. I'm not really hearing here yeah, um as clear as I should. Uh is my audio okay now? Yeah, yeah. I'm hearing you much better now. Okay. I was saying that uh, whenever there is uh, a balance in the market, uh, price right. needs to move sideways, which is also known as consolidation, okay? Okay. So this does not create um, any trading opportunities. What uh, a trading opportunity is an imbalance in the market. So whenever uh, the market moves sideways, it does not place any trades. Okay, it does not create um, any trading, trades, right? Hello? Yeah, yeah, I'm listening to you. Okay. Um, trying to... Okay. So should I tap this out? Let me just quickly tap it out. Okay. So in any, in any market, it's the most difficult. To be matched to a seller before uh, before any transaction can be completed. So in forex trading, the broker is responsible for matching buy orders to sell orders before any transaction 
can be completed. Okay. I think I typed okay. my mistake. So whenever there is a balance between buyers and sellers, there is consolidation. So basically, uh, in consolidation, there is when buyers and sellers um, place in the orders. And when one of them have more orders, for example, buy orders, you will see a big buy move. Yes, 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 correct. Okay. <clears throat> I think you are understanding this. So how long have you been trading this style? Um, it's it's been almost eight months now. Sorry? It's been almost eight months now, less than a year. So far it's been the best decision I've ever made. So, <laughs> so less less than a year. Sorry? Uh, less than a year, yes sir. Yeah, it's less it's been less than a less than a year now. That's not bad at all. Not bad. Because I've been um looking at different trading strategies and whatnot, and then I came across Danny. <laughs> There's a guy who on Billy Jake. Yeah. And then I came across Danny with his course, and then I came across you after. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I didn't really come across anyone else who trades this title. After looking at the accuracy, I thought to myself that this is probably the best. Yeah, and also it offers very great uh, low risk and high reward, so it's the best. Yeah, yeah. That is, um, that is what I actually like about it, because a lot of other trading strategies, you would have a large stop loss with very small take profits, and to me that doesn't get too right. Yes. <clears throat> The hem of this, uh, I'm pretty sure you won't be looking to learn any other new strategies. No, no, I actually took this course because I don't want to look for anything else. Because, um, you see, what I realize is learning too much things in the market actually hinders your progress. Yes. So if you learn one good thing, especially something um, related to institutional trading, then you would actually be good. I was actually doing the market maker's method before. I market maker have learned that one, I think, two years ago. Yeah. I've blown so many accounts using that method. <laughs> Don't even want to. <laughs> so uh, let's. I... Yeah, yeah, let's continue. Sorry about that. <laughs> no problem. So um, the market always moves up from a demand zone. Okay. Uh, created by the excess and filled by orders and down from a supply zone created by excess and filled sell orders. Okay. Right. So big banks trade in huge amounts, but most of the time cannot instantly match all their buy or sell orders because of the lack of an equal amount of orders on the opposite side of their transaction, which is the retail traders. So therefore, an imbalance of buy or sell orders is created in the market. Okay. I'm going to write that down. No problem. Go to market. Thank <laughs> you. 
follows an app from a demand zone created by excess buy orders and down from a supply zone created by excess and sell orders. No problem. Um, <clears throat> So these uh, supply and demand zones could be found on any time frame or specific time frames. Uh, can you repeat the question? These supply and demand zones could they be found on any time frame or specific time frames? Oh, they they, are, they can be found on every time frame, actually. Okay, okay. But I'm going to show you um the steps we use to find um clean and unclean ones clean and unclean imbalances so we don't okay no problem. just take any supply and demand so okay showing you, showing you the, the the steps on how you can use those so on the i think uh, on the last module which is the professional side of order flow okay, okay. Something. Mm -hmm. They went on So big banks can, cannot make order buy or sell orders, okay? All right. So, uh, but most of the time cannot uh, just. But most of the time, they cannot instantly match all their buy or sell orders because of the lack of any opposite side of the, their transactions, which is the retail traders. Those are the guys that are opposite um, to their tra trades, right? So what we want to do is trade in line with them, not against them, okay? Okay. This is what, it, what order flow is all about. We are uh constantly looking to trade in line with uh the big guys the ones that move the market okay okay so uh in balance Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, an imbalance is created when there is a lack of equal amounts of buy or sell orders in the opposite side of their trades or transactions. Okay. Because obviously, as retail traders, we do not have the same amount of money uh, as the banks and institutions, right? Right. So this creates an imbalance uh, whenever there is a uh, lack of equal amounts of buy or sell orders in the opposite side of their trade. So this is where we, um, this is why each time there's an imbalance, we are able to pick the zone and um, we expect the zone to come back to that uh, level because banks need to uh, fill all their orders. So before uh, the, the, the market continues in the intended direction, okay? Okay. There's always noise in the afternoon, eh? Uh, so a trader can accurately predict um, major market trends using these price levels with the greatest amount of excess and fill buy or sell orders. So this is right. trade on the zones where banks previously transacted, okay? Okay. So we look we look to trade the, the, the imbalance or unfilled orders of big banks and institutions. Okay. Okay. So so basically so far we started order flow and what is order flow and also i've covered how it actually works okay All right so basically this is what the, um, the first session is all about i hope so far everything has been clear yes yeah, so far everything is clear so on the next session we will be dealing with uh let me quickly just do this this is this is the complete full session, right here. Yeah, it's just the introduction to order flow. So on the sec second session, that's when things start to get interesting. Okay. Mm, I'm looking for the content for module two. Um, would you recommend? Trade in view or MetaTrader to place trades on? I use uh, MetaTrader because the, the broker I'm using is just Forex, which is the trade account. No, I mean, um, setting up the charts. I know you can set up the charts on Trade in view as well, but would you recommend just setting it up, um, drawing up the charts on MetaTrader? Oh, um, well, actually, I, 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 I use MT4 because I don't want to. <clears throat> Keep going to um, trading view and then back to my uh, what's this MT4. So it's actually quite a lot of work for me. But you can use okay. Um, you can use Alison. Um, a question at the heart is yesterday you mentioned that we could set alerts on trading view, right? I would like you to show me how to set the alerts on trading view. Oh, okay. So you. See this, um, sorry, not on, not on trade and view on MetaTrader. My bad. Okay, let me see if I can do that. Well, this is twenty five. So, MT five. I saw Danny also traded on MT five. Why? Why is that? So the reason why is because you can actually manipulate time frames. Okay, you can actually. Sorry? I'm saying you can uh, customize your time frames on MT4. So oh, you can add on MT5, you mean? 
Yeah, I'm T5, I mean, sorry. Okay. You can customize your time frames, which is you can have the eight hours, six hours, three hours. And that is very crucial for this um, aspect of trading. Um, for the order flow method, because why? We need the two hour time frame. I'll explain that more yep. in the professional um, session. No, no problem. Uh, okay, there should be an option here for alarm. I, I don't, I'm not seeing it anymore. No, I know the, I know, um, trade and view, everything about trade and view in terms of the, um, alerts and whatnot, but I wanted to find out the alerts on MetaTrader. No, there, there should be an option here, but I can't see it on MT5. I don't know why. I don't usually, but, uh, I've seen it before on MT4. Let me try it. Oh. Mm, okay. I'm not sure how you do it, but uh, there was, I think uh, there was an option. Oh. Well, that, that is okay. I could always um, search a video on YouTube and I'm sure to find it. Okay, I think you should do that. Um, so, I had a question. So, earlier on, before I paid for the course, you were telling me that if we had started Tuesday, which was yesterday, we would finish by Friday, right? Yes. Which would be 40s. So, what would we have done in the 40s that we are now doing in 3Ds? So basically, it's the today's course, which was the beginners course. Then on Thursday, right. advanced. Then Friday will be the professional one. Then I said on Saturday we can do a live question and answer session, right? Oh, so, okay, okay, I understand. So, yes. Um. Basically, the fourth. You said you had some. Sorry. I'm saying the fourth uh, session is the Q and A. All right. Um. I know you told me that you would have some exercises for me to do after, right? Yes. So um, that would be during the classes or after the class? Um, I, I think it's going to be best if I do that during, um, after the class and then during, because basically the, the, the assignments will be like, if, for example, if I have maybe five pairs that I'm looking at, right? All right. So basically, what I will what I'll be doing is I'll be giving you the names of those pairs, and then I'll be expecting right. you to mark and spot uh, the same zones as my charts. That's true. Uh, because have to make sure that you are watching the same thing because the next thing is if I'm seeing a buy setup, you are also going to see a buy setup. Okay, unlike other strategies where. <laughs> The mentor sees a buy setup and then the student sees a sell setup. So that's also <laughs> that's it. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> we have um, to, you have to see the same thing, right? No, look, I have a question to ask. I'm not sure um how good the question is, but in terms of this, right? If you see a strong buy move, right, which would be an imbalance in the market, right? Uh you would therefore expect that the market would sell until a certain point where would be your entry point and then it would buy again, right? Correct. So is there any chance that you would see a nice uh, buy move and the market sells and completely breaks through that point and continues to sell without buying from your order flow zone? Yeah, it does happen sometimes because usually when that happens is when... Uh, how can I put this? Is when the market change, changes, uh, maybe probably during um, turn change. Like, say, um, because I think I don't think I can explain that uh, before actually explaining to you on the professional training. I don't think it's gonna make sense. But okay, it, because it does happen. The the reason I have these questions is because I was looking at um the videos that doesn't mean I said down his videos now. So being um, given the fact that I was trading for a while and I have a lot of knowledge in it, it was easier for me to understand than someone who would now be starting, right? Mm -hmm. So 
that is what um that is what uh, so uh, so certain things that I thought I would have some questions about. So it's fine. I uh, think I think the best thing to do now is after we are done with the training, then you can write down all your questions for for a Q and A session. Then I can be able to answer everything once we are done. Okay. So and sorry. You said from next week you will add me to the signals group. Yes. Yes. Okay. So on um, the next advanced course we will be dealing with types of bases, which is the zones, then the right. odds and answers, and then micro voting imbalances. So that's what and I didn't I didn't catch the um the second and the third one. The first one is uh types of phases, right? The continuation right, phases. Yes, the continuation right. the then the second one will be the five odds enhancers. So basically what validates our cell or by zones, okay, before taking it away. Okay. And then the third one will be marking and spotting imbalances. We have two types of imbalances, which is the clean and unclean imbalance, okay? <laughs> Okay, and um, these would be um in the next you would be showing me examples on the charts and whatnot. Yes, yes, correct. Okay. So and um even though uh the class is finished by weekend coming, right? Could I still over time send you charts and whatnot? Okay. And if I need a zoom call from time to time just to kind of brush up on something you can do that no would you do that yes of course okay okay uh so that's it for class so far class so far was nice um a lot of the things that i saw here uh came across it already so there's not really a lot for me to, to take in. so i open on the next class that um, well, not next class, and I will learn new things. So I wait for the next class. So the next class, same time tomorrow, right? Yeah, yeah, same time tomorrow. Just um, I will message you to confirm because, as you know, now is morning time in my country. Okay, no problem. Right. So, um, probably if I'm having breakfast around this time, I would wrap it up and start the class, or I would just let you know. Okay. Okay, well, thanks for the class. Okay, you're welcome. Bye. Bye.